this APC UPS has a problem where it uh, these six LEDs flash simultaneously. It's a problem with the AVR relays. So let's take it apart. This front just pulls off, but be very careful of this ribbon cable. It's attached permanently. It cannot be removed, and it's quite delicate, so be careful. Undo these screws. Once you've undone those, this just pulls out. Now, there would normally be a battery there, but I've already removed it. And that just lifts off. Then you'll undo these two screws. Once you've done that, what I recommend is putting this inside like that so it's safe. Turn the unit on its side and undo this six screws. If I've undone those, you can pull the sides out and slide it off. You should make sure that the internal capacitors are discharged just by pushing the on button. Just to make sure that it, just, uh, it is actually discharged. Now the top's off. You can just pull these things out. Lift this off. You need to disconnect these plugs from the main board. There's two there. And there's one underneath, which you can't really see on the video. To get to all of the plugs, you need to take this fan off. It's just these two screws. And this small plug. And do this five screws and that one there. You need to undo this cable grip here. Pull the battery connector through. So that you've got more slack wire to work with. You'll need to manipulate the the main board to get it up to the point there's two plugs under here and one under here you've got to unplug those these are the connectors you need to disconnect there's one under behind this transformer here and two that go on the back here and they just squeeze and pull out this is an APC UPS uh, model SUA 1500i and from what I can tell the problem's caused by dodgy relays here 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 so I'm going to replace all of them now I've got the board out I found it a good idea to put some tape over this coil to protect it because you keep knocking it on this side here it might do some damage so um, I've removed the relays you have to take note where you're moving from because it's multiple positions. If you look here, let's get a view on that. There's a place here for what looks like a double throw, double pole relay, but just down from it, there's a single double pole, single throw spot. And the relays I took out go in this lower pot here, here two here, one here, one here, and one here. These are double pole, uh, single pole, double throw relays. Even though they've got six pins, because they're actually joined together. So, watch it. Make sure you test it properly with the multimeter. Right, excuse the shakiness. I'm hand holding the uh, USB microscope thing. The two of the relays are these Shrak RP920124s and the others are seven nine three P one C S. 
which are actually the same as what's in my UPS, not the Shrek ones, but the other ones. I think I've found our faulty relay. It's on a continuity test. Now, if I apply power, move power. Ooh, how long did that take to go down? There's no capacitor or anything in it. Mm, 40. This is how a normal one should behave. On off. On off. On off. You hear a click. It clicks as soon as I remove power. And here are the replacement relays from Digikey. Let's see. Uh, single pole double throw relays and the double pole single throw relays which you'll see if I take one out it only has it only has four pins at that side not six so yeah make sure you're careful okay all the new relays are in Let's have a look. Let's put it back together and see how it goes. It's just the reverse of taking it apart. Right. Battery's connected. It's plugged into the mains. Let's switch the power on. Thump. It's a good sign. Power on. Wait for it to do its self-test. That's just my multimeter, ignore that. Happy days. Okay, we have a load connected to it. And switch the mains off. Okay, for a last test, here we are. I've got the Variac in series in, in the circuit to test the AVR circuit. So what I'm going to do is gradually turn the voltage down. Now it's boosting the voltage because I've turned the voltage down to about 85% of normal input voltage. Turn it back up. Now I'm going to go above. There you go. Now it's bucking the uh, input voltage. And uh, that's what was causing the problem before those relays.